Hey there, welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials. We're working on the black one again. Here she is in the shed. Great little car, tight, love it. But uh, time for a little bit of love. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put uh, mud flaps on just to make it look a bit nicer. This car's gonna be turned over. So all these little things help, but also just gonna paint up the brakes. Now, I'm no longer the one who wants to paint the brakes red. I've done that lots of times, or yellow like a Ferrari. Um, now what I'm gonna do is just paint, paint it in a satin black just makes it disappear and makes it look really, really good. I cannot stand um, half silver, half rust brakes and all the rest of it. I've got another project car in the, in the wings that you're gonna get to see soon and the brakes are terrible on that as well. Haven't done those yet, but we're doing these today. So mud, flips, mud flaps on all four corners and we're just gonna tidy up the brakes and clean them up because it's a whole lot easier to get the mud flaps off when you take your wheels off. So do them both at once. Have a look, I'll stick a, a, um, a link up in the corner here for a video about how to take the wheels off if you need help with that. But this one I want to show you because it's tight. Like all the nuts are out, they're down here on the ground, but that wheel's really tight. It's not coming off easy. So it gives us a, a heads up that it's going to be a little bit rusty on the inside. Now, when they get, yeah, there you go. When they get tight like that, you can just give them a kick. But come in close here and have a look. Yes, you see the corrosion and the rust around here. We just need to get a bit of sandpaper, something a bit tough, give that a rub, get that rust, off, particularly on the outside edge, because if you look in here in the wheel, you can see the rust, and that's just why it's sticking there and getting a bit tight. So we'll give that a bit of a rub, but this is an alloy. This is the alloy wheel. It's not actually rusted. The rust has come from the steel over there. So a bit of a clean up here, get the rust off there. And then when we paint, I'll paint this edge as well. And then the outside here, and the this is really not complicated. Just a good rough bit of sandpaper and just run it around that outside edge. And that'll just take all the roughness off. Because of course, when you paint this to stop it rusting again, it's gonna add a little bit of thickness, but that's all okay. It's the corrosion that makes it stick. So look at that, a couple of seconds and have a close look at that. See, that's um, really, really different. I'll give it a rub around on the inside as well, um, here, and then paint this as well, just to stop it from... from okay, so you can see we just had a little bit of a rub up there, and in here, you can actually see the, the powder sitting. Just get a paper towel and wipe it off, and that's really good for getting the rust away. Have a look, you don't want that. If you just sprayed it straight on, um, all of that would end up in the paint, which is not what we want. So give that a wipe out. Can you see the amount of dust in there? Just come off with a really, really quick sand and that'll restore up nicely. If you've got rust around any of these parts here, do that as well. Particularly this bolt, when you're replacing the rotor, you have to get this bolt here out. So it's a good one not to have rusty or anything like paint that. The uh, caliper here as well. So again, you have to what's called key the surface. So again, very rough sandpaper and just scratch it so the paint's got somewhere to hang on to. And you do need to get the dirt off. And as with all painting, the more prep and work that you do, the better job you'll end up with. Um, just gonna give this a rough up. When you're doing the paint, you've got rubber boots here. You don't wanna paint them. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you paint the brake shoes, I suppose, but you don't want to paint them to attach them. So it's just a matter of putting a fine coating on. You can, of course, pull the brake apart, clean up all the bits, but that's not the level of love that this car is going to get today. We're just going to scrape it up, clean it up, dust it off with the paper towel, and, um, and then spray it up. And then we're also going to put the um, mud flaps on at the same time. So obviously, I'm going to put the mud flap on and then paint. I don't want wet paint here while I'm sticking the mud flap on over there. So that's all prepped, that's ready to go. I'll just give it a wipe down. And we're ready to put the mud flap on. So something's astonishing to me, this is where the fuel filler cap is, where you put your petrol on the car. And uh, it just comes down here. This is a fuel filler line. Um, and it's just plastic. Absolutely astonishing to me, because the wheel's right here. So rocks, water, sand, mud, whatever else, but there's just a plastic pipe running down into the fuel tank. So that's it, unprotected, but obviously strong enough. Preparation for the paint, we um, put a bit of masking tape just on the disc surface so it doesn't get paint on it. Then we'll be able to spray it up nice and quick. Okay, so there we go. 
I'm just got a light dusting of paint all over that. That's um, all black now, looking beautiful. It's shiny at the moment, but that'll dull off because it's a satin black that we've gone for. Uh, mud flap is fitted. Uh, it came with these screws, not enough of these screws. We'll have to get some more. This is a, just a generic mud flap kit. They're really cheap and I, I really like them. I think they look really good, the molded mud flaps. Uh, but you do have to get some extra accessories for them, the fuel put on. I'll put a link up here. I've got fitting these to a one series. I put them onto the blue one series, my first project car. So I'll put a link through to that video. But they're on, brakes are painted. As you can see, all that rust is dealt with and the paint will stop it from rusting again. We put a bit of masking tape, particularly on the inside edge here, so that as we spray this, it doesn't end up painting the disc. Uh, again, it's not a huge problem if it does because um, the brake pad will take it off, but your braking will be affected initially. So you just gotta be careful. So you mask that up so that that's not gonna be painted on the caliper. All done, looking good. So we're just gonna let this dry off, put the wheel back on, then that quarter's done. We'll just do that four times over. And we put the mud flap on exactly the same. As I said, have a look at the link earlier for how to put mud flaps on a one series. And we've just given that a quick paint up, uh, rotor and there. So look at all beautiful. Mud flaps are on the ringer, and uh, I think they look really, really good. Uh, from out here, get one without a wheel truck under it. I'm just doing the front wheels at the moment. It just um, pinches off nicely when you look down there. So uh, just got the front wheels to go here now, and uh, this one's the front ones. The drums weren't um, painted, so this was just full on rust. You can see through these mags, they're very, very open. So you can see uh, what's going on. So that'll come up black and uh, the caliper as well. Put the mud flap on the front as well. There it is. As I said, have a look at the link for the other video of how to put the mud flaps on a one series. It's all there. But again, the big difference, particularly on a black car, is that instead of, there's a little bit of rain like there is at the moment, instead of every time you go out getting the whole car sprayed and looking filthy dirty, it makes a huge difference as to how dirty uh, the car gets. So that's the main reason I do it. So over here, we've got the other front mode flap on there, and we've painted this one up. Um, as you can see, the caliper and the uh, hub there is all done in that satin black, and that was all rust. So I mean, you don't have to paint here where the wheel faces or in there, but I've rubbed it all back and um, painted it up so it's not rusty in the caliper. And again, another mode flap here. So yeah, looking forward to not having to wash this thing down. I'm not having to go filthy dirty after every single rain, but uh, getting there and uh, working on this guy and getting him ready to, A, it's nicer for me to drive around and uh, it also value adds when it comes to selling it when people see the car's been loved and had a whole lot of things done to it.